two. Good to go. Got it just inching underneath the Prezi sign. Oh God, you're killing me. Can you click on the YouTube sign? Will it? Compared to a terabyte, that's a number. That's a number that's different. But is it? I'm saying, what is it? Like one terabyte versus one teraflop? Is it comparable? That's going memory to power. That's completely different. Oh, gotcha, gotcha. I see what you're saying. And a teraflop can go to better graphics, faster system, and so a bigger number is better here. And the Xbox One only creates 1.34 teraflops of power, which means worse graphics, well not worse, but <coughs> good graphics than a slower system. But Microsoft has said that it creates 1.84, but you can't trust them when they first came out with 1.34. And game researchers and developers have said that the PlayStation 4 is actually 10 times more powerful the PlayStation 3, which is completely amazing. Like, the PlayStation 3 had a difficult core processor for the game developers to be able to create games for, which means that they didn't really unleash the full power of the PlayStation 3. So, judging from the games that just came out for PlayStation 3, it is crazy how much power the PlayStation 4 can have and how much it can release and the types of games that can actually go on the system. Xbox One and it's PlayStation 4. All you need to know is that it doesn't come with a three color plug into your TV anymore. There are only HDMI ports. Oh. So you gotta have a better computer, not a computer. You gotta have a better TV for it. And the PlayStation 4 puts 1080 pixels versus Xbox's 740 pixels, which is just beyond belief because that's like amazing picture that you can see from a Microsoft also have said that they got, got theirs up to 1080, but again, you can't be sure when they first came out with their native 740. And it does support lower resolution, so if you don't have to have it as high as it can go, you can bring it down more. And the Xbox One 
Nintendo PlayStation 4 have DVD and Blu-ray. Originally, the Xbox 360 did not because they didn't think that it was really needed. But with all the technology change, now it has both of them. And PlayStation 4 actually comes with a headset for you to use for playing the game. And the remotes. There is a gigantic thing that remotes for the PlayStation 4. There is a touchpad, which you can see right there. Right there, that's a touchpad. And no. it actually interacts with some of the games, like Watch Dogs. It's coming out, basically you're going into a city and you can control anything you want to in the city. It's the coolest thing ever. Well. And you can, the player has a phone in the game, and you can actually use that touchpad to interact with the phone. And it comes with a light bar, which is up here, but you can't see it. It's just a cool little light bar. <laughs> what does it do? The light bar? It lights up. Oh, gee, really? <laughs> so is this like neon things underneath a car? It's just for show? I have those. And there's the share button, a new share button on the PS4. It's called the DualShock 4, that's why that's right there. And there's a share button, so if you're on the game and you want to upload a picture or a video clip of what you're doing to show all your friends, just click that button and it'll post it on your thing. And the DualShock comes with a headphone jack, which you can plug the headphones into, obviously, which is really cool. You plug the headphone into the controller? Yeah, so you can listen to the game and stuff. Oh my god. And there's new grips, which is just a cosmetic that I can't hold, which they actually reshaped the remote, so it fits better in your hands instead of the old, small, girly controllers. Okay. The batteries are rechargeable. There's a lithium battery inside the PlayStation 4 controller, which can be recharged while it's sleep mode. Originally, DualShock 3 could not do that, and DualShock 2 was kind of while you're on it, so you can be about that. <laughs> <laughs> and compatibility, for some of the games, you can take your DualShock 4 and bring it down to your PS3, but it's not going to work as well, and it won't work on all of your games, just some of them. And the Xbox One controller actually just, the only thing that it upgraded was a smooth battery pack on the back of it, big deal. And they created rumble things in the little analog sticks. What are you going to do with that? <laughs> <laughs> the games, there are lots of new games, obviously, for a new system and new graphics new games. And these are just a few of them, Watch Dogs, like I was telling you about, Killzone Channel Call which is actually an exclusive. Minecraft is on the both systems. Uh, Call of Duty Ghosts, which already came out. You can actually take, if you bought like Call of Duty Ghosts for your PS3 or your Xbox 360, you can take it in your GameStop and you can upgrade it to the PS4 game or the Xbox One game for just 10 bucks. So in case you bought it and you don't want to buy new this, and then Infamous, second song. It's either Infamous or Infamous. I call it Infamous. Either or. Tomato, tomato. And it's also exclusive to the PS4. There's a game called Octodad, which is the best game I've ever seen. It's you're an octopus and you're trying to fit in with society so your family doesn't know you're an octopus. <laughs> <laughs> it's so pretty awesome. That's weird. There's uh, Assassin's Creed 4, Black Flag. Diablo 3, Ultimate DVD Edition, Drive Club, which is also an exclusive for the PS4, Destiny, which looks amazing, and Counter Spy, haven't seen that one, Battlefield 4, for all of you guys out there, and there's just, Knack is also an exclusive, and you're this little guy, and you bind to elements, so you get, like, you can create, turn into different versions of Nick, so you'll be just this little short guy, and then you can find like racks. It'll become this massive, amazing warrior guy. Hey. <laughs> and the price, obviously, I would have to tell you the prices if I'm going to try to sell you something. So PlayStation 4, hundred dollars cheaper, hundred dollars better. And Xbox <laughs> One is five hundred dollars 
and you're not getting the same experience with the processors as you would the PlayStation 4. The PlayStation 4 is faster, better. And it's like buying a Lunchable. Either you buy the Lunchable with the meat and cracker for $500, or you can buy the Lunchable with the meat and cracker, the smoothie, and the cookie. And I personally would go with the meat and cracker, the smoothie, and the cookie. <laughs> <laughs> Those are my sources.